It's a disease. disease. It's a disease, disease, disease like, like any, any other. other. Addiction is a disease. It's a brain condition that involves compulsive use of a substance. And it's essential that the family remembers that the addict is not making these decisions. They're being driven by the addiction itself. It isn't a moral failing. It really is a health issue driven by that choice and losing control of the choice. And addicts look like you and me. There is no typical addict. Having a diagnosable condition related to alcohol or drugs is present in about 22 million Americans in any given year. Science has really advanced revealing how these substances affect the brain. Two parts of the brain are involved, the limbic system that drives the behavior and the frontal lobes that should stop the behavior, but it isn't working right. People who are at risk of becoming addicts have differences in this brain system that may explain their responses to substances and why some people go on to develop addiction and others don't. In early addiction, people are using and maybe getting in a little bit of trouble, but in later addiction, they may risk their lives to continue the use of the substance, or they've lost everything. Adolescent addiction is a particularly serious issue because we're worried about not only the addiction and how to treat that and how to help these kids get back to normal, but we worry particularly about the real exposure to drugs at such an early age when their brain is still developing. 90% of all adults with an addiction began their use in their teenage years. So when you think about addiction, think about it as an adolescent health issue. The most important advice I can think of for a family that's going through addiction would be to remember that this is a disease. I, I have an addiction. addiction. They're, They're not, not weak. I, I have, have a, a disease. disease.